Anthony. Um, how would you evaluate that overall? What did you feel like that was really um, working for you most effectively? Um, you know, I just felt like I was uh, just commanding the slider and, and heater well through, um, you know, a couple of good changeups and, and breaking balls um, mixed in there. Um, but I just felt like overall just the execution of, you know, the fastball and slider were, you know, probably better tonight than they have been. I, I know you don't necessarily place any more importance on one game for yourself personally, but knowing the situation that the team is in and, and uh, coming into this game tied for first, how were you sort of approaching it as you took them out? Um, yeah, I mean, just like just any, any other game, not trying to make, not trying to make the game, you know, too big. Um, obviously I know it's important. Um, and you know, every, every game moving forward is important, but, um, just trying to stay, you know, in the moment and, um, you know, just focus on pitch to pitch and, and, and all that, um, you know, at the, at the end of the day, this was a, you know, really great team, team win. And, um, you know, it was a lot of fun to watch and be a part of as well. Danny. Hey, Anthony, um, what, where were you for the post-game celebration and what do you remember about it? Uh, I was right here in the, in the clubhouse just with all the, um, the relievers that threw and, um, you know, we were anxiously waiting there at the end, um, just cause we're, we're also delayed on TV. So we were also trying to, trying to listen to the crowd and see what was going on. And, um, you know, I felt like it was, uh, we waited 20 minutes, but, um, you know, it was a call we wanted to hear. So it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, Really, really good celebration in the clubhouse and uh, a lot of fun and look forward to getting after tomorrow. Justice. Hey, Anthony, uh, when Posey hit that grounder, what was kind of going through your head there, especially when Turner made the throw to first? Were you thinking that he was going to be out or do you think that was a chance that he could have beat it out? Uh, the last play of the game, you yeah. said? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 uh, – you know, I didn't know um, truly where they were positioned, um, you know, being on TV and and um, not really knowing where it was positioned and where it was hit initially. Um, you know, and I, you know, I saw Turner had to move quite a bit for it. Um, and at first, I didn't even realize, like, the, the, the foot came off the bag that much. Um, and then obviously saw it did and uh, just watching the replay, it was, we knew it was, it looked like he didn't get back to the bag. Um, and they just never know with, uh, you know, some of these review uh, calls. So uh, it's glad it worked out. Andy. Hi, hey, Anthony. I'm just curious what kind of role Buster uh, played as, as you and, and Bailey and everybody are going through uh, game planning for uh, the Dodgers when, you know, they have had some success against you previous to, to tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's always, uh, you know, it's all year, every team, it's been, you know, pitched to my strengths. And, um, you know, I think as, as I start facing them, you know, just more and more, um, you know, you just, you know, you, you kind of see, you know, what their approaches are and, and, you know, you just start learning them, them better, but, you know, they're also doing the same to me as well. So, you know, I just think at the end of the day, um, just a believer in, you know, just execution, uh, just felt like I was, you know, just ex executing more consistently tonight, um, you know, than, in uh, you know, previous games. So. And do you have an appreciation for what it's like for your catcher, you know, who's down there in the squat working with you all day uh, to, to, to use his legs there in extra innings uh, to beat something out? I mean, how, how difficult that must be for him? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, that was huge. <laughs> you know, glad, uh, you know, glad he was able to get down the line um, after being so long and, and also being a little chilly out. It's definitely not, definitely not the easiest thing. Uh, easiest thing to do, but um, he was just fast enough. So it's great. Thank you. That's all we have. Thank you, Anthony. Perfect. Hey, Gabe, what, what was going through your head as that final replay was 
was going on and, and what did you think as you watched Buster run down the line? I mean, I thought he was going to get thrown out is, is what I was thinking. Um, and, you know, obviously with a, with a, a good throw, he's probably out right there. Um, in the dugout, I think you could kind of sense that the team was, I mean, obviously there was a lot of excitement about the potential that uh, the call stood, but I would also say that there was some fatigue in the dugout. So, and I'm sure there was fatigue on both sides. Um, so at least some of the celebration was about, you know, the game ending and us get getting ready to, to come back and, and play tomorrow's game. But uh, certainly, um, you know, just kind of anticipating what, what the call was going to be. Uh, you maybe haven't had time to check on this, but it looked like Dickerson was shaking his leg out at first base. Yeah. Did you have a chance to ask how that went or? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that went particularly well. I need to, to check in with him and see how he's doing, but um, yeah, he didn't look like he felt very good. We checked him out in the dugout and, and um, there's a good chance that we were going to need to remove him from the game and, and uh, have one of our pitchers play the outfield if, if that game got extended. Did you have a guy in mind? It would have been Logan Webb. And Susan. What up? Okay. <laughs> okay, these, uh, your two teams have been so close all year in so many ways. The series has been such a good one. What are your thoughts on tonight and the way it played out, kind of given uh, the past history uh, this season with how close you guys have been? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I thought it, I thought it was actually a really well played baseball game, uh, really well pitched baseball game, and a pretty gritty tough baseball game on both sides. And um, I thought we played very clean defense throughout. Is one of the keys for us. And um, yeah, no, I thought we were in the right place at the right time for most of the game. Uh, you know, one of the things that I've said when we've lost games is um, yeah, maybe we haven't made we didn't make enough pitches, we didn't get enough big big hits, and we didn't we didn't play good enough defense. I, I think tonight it was just the opposite, right? I think we, we made enough pitches um, just enough and we made, we, we got just enough offensive performance and we played really good defense um, all the way around. And, and I think that's why we were able to, to pull this one out. Uh, speaking of defense, the throw that Crawford made uh, in the, uh, the top of the 11th there to, to Buster to keep that inning scoreless. Uh, what were your thoughts on that play? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great decision, right? Because I think in, in Craw's mind, he, he's probably thinking about the various ways he can play that ball. Um, but we, we ask our infielders in, in situations like that to, to look to cut the, the runner down at the plate first. And um, Crawford, being as, as aware as he is, um, knew that that was the case, made a great throw. There's a couple of different ways to position your defenders there strategically. You can play uh, slightly deep, deeper, give yourself a little bit more range and play for the double play, um, conceding the run and understanding that, that you're going to have a chance to, to tie it up, or you can play uh, slightly more aggressively like we did and, and um, kind of tr think about trying to win the game in that inning. Um, and you, when, when you do put on a strategy play like that, um, you have to, you know, trust your infielders are, are right in lockstep with you and, um, are, are going to execute. And, and obviously we trust Craw and, and he made a great throw, great tag by Buster. Um, yeah, solid play all the way around. Justice. Hey, Gabe, uh, it didn't seem like many of the 39,000 left even with the game going as long as it did. Just what was kind of the atmosphere like tonight against with it being such an intense game? Uh, the atmosphere was, um, it was as loud as, as I've seen it here as, as at least as, as I've been in the dugout. And, um, you know, I think it was the, the liveliest crowd that, that I've been around and, and, and definitely the biggest crowd, most passionate crowd um, over the course of the last two years. A lot of fun. I guess one thing that kind of gets lost with how long the game went, but the decision to go with Slater there in the third inning, just kind of how difficult was it to make that decision given how Lamont Wade Jr. could have potentially been someone that you could go to later in the game. It's always it's always a very difficult decision to take a player out of the game uh, that early for any number of reasons. In in part because you don't know um, how that bullpen game is going to go. But I, I think it, it makes some sense uh, when you have the bases loaded to think about that game. And this is what I told Lamont, um, like it's kind of in the seventh or the eighth inning, right? Because you know, runs are going to be at a premium in a game like today. And, um, you know, we've, we've used our bench aggressively all year long. I immediately grabbed Lamont and told him that 
Um, I know that that he can perform in those kind of situations. I've all the trust in the world in him. Uh, Slater's on the roster uh, for that moment. And, um, you know, there are going to be days when when Lamont hits for for Austin in, in the same kind of situation. So um, I think our players understand at this point they're um, not just on board, but but supportive. And, and that's why, you know, uh, those situations work. It doesn't mean that they're always going to work. The, the guy that's going to hit is going to get a hit. He's not going to strike out. Those are things that are going to happen. But at least our players are, are aware, understanding and, and prepared. Alex. Um, what was different about Descofani today as, as opposed to his previous outings against the Dodgers? I think he just did a, a really nice job of mixing up his pitches. I and mean, one thing that I thought about very early in the game was what a nice job Buster was doing, um, keeping their hitters off balance. Um, we saw the curveball come out early. Um, good, good slider usage with a nice, um, nice kind of gas pedal break. You saw the, the fastball show up at the right times, two different fastballs. And um, yeah, I, I just thought he mixed his pitch as well. He hit his spots and his, and his balls had good life. All right. That's all we have. All right. Cool. Thanks.